Right. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, part two of our sketchbook explorations from the Creative Bug Daily series. Um, this four-part series program that we participated in this month. And so now this is the classes that are like kind of week three and week four is how we're going about it. And uh, it's with Lisa Congdon, and we really enjoy her and her style. Uh, but it was, I was feeling like it was a lot. <laughs> I think I was happy with like the first two and would have just stayed working on that. Um, I enjoyed uh, the week three was doing a lot of color blocking with watercolor. And so that was fun. But then I got really overwhelmed trying to fill in with patterns, which I was saying I was surprised by because I do enjoy, you know, Zentangle type of stuff and, and working with geometric patterns. But I don't know what happened. It was like freezing up. Like it was too much, too many. I don't know. I did yeah, not. or I would do one that I didn't like the look of, and I just was like, oh, now that's there. Yeah. Do I repeat that somewhere? You know, we couldn't cover up mistakes the same as you could with like the other like flower patterns. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. you didn't like it, you could just color that flower black and like, right. then, you know, totally. <laughs> yeah, that was, I, I hit like as soon as it came to starting the, the doodling and the filling the color blocks, it just hit like a, a huge brain block of I don't have enough repeating patterns in my repertoire to actually you know, think of things on the fly. And then it was the stress of like, well, how do I repeat this elsewhere on the blocks? And how do I make it look cohesive? And so I, and it, I felt that through each step of that, that yeah. class of like, well, now my colors are not repeating in the same way that hers are, because I was going kind of ad hoc with like colors that I liked on the, on my palette. And then I don't know. So it just got really weird of like, it doesn't look cohesive to me. And the patterns are all over the place. So it was really frustrating because I wasn't getting, it, it wasn't as easy to get the same results as she had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah. But I don't know that it was anything she could have taught differently. I mean, I think it was, it was presented no, very yeah. well. I think it's just something that's like, you need to spend some time with it and not expect to just mm -hmm. like, maybe put the colors down and have a practice sheet for making some designs and doodles to have. Yeah. You wanna, especially if you're rather new to this. Yeah. So, although it is more, sketchbooks she did have the sketchbook explorations before yeah we, you practice some of those designs so maybe we, we skipped the intro that. class um that's why there's I, prerequisites yeah totally. <laughs> i did um i looked at my embroidery that we just did my sampler for like the second one i was doing so i was like i cannot come up with patterns but they didn't you know so i was like maybe i'll just take something off there but it doesn't translate very well it depends no. you know so a great idea but i can see where it doesn't trans doesn't translate well and also just kind of like hit a point where when we were doing the, the stuff in week four i was going through and like swatching every, essentially doing the same thing in, as knitting but like swatching every pen and marker i had so i was like well now i have this and that's a really good thing because i can just keep it and then refer back to it every time i need to use those pens and markers so i don't have to like do a pen test again mm -hmm. and i was after i finished this first spread i was like well i should have like 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 a master sheet of all the different doodles that I could do so maybe that would help with my memory of like oh you could do this pattern or um so I can kind of see where I can definitely see where it would be helpful for more practice and I did fully intend on doing a second spread so like she does the across two pages with the color blocks yeah so I think um, that looks great I it's I don't I think it's just me not being objective enough and me just being really perfectionist. Mm -hmm. But I the, think your long try or the long rectangles that you yeah I like the colors you chose for the watercolor too yeah yeah I, this was just like the two separate it's like putting the watercolor blocks down yes and then something well, think, totally separate also like week one and week two really spoiled me with the watercolor markers because those dry almost instantly mm -hmm. and I was finding myself like really frustrated with. The watercolor is taking too long to dry. I've got doodles in my mind right now, but I can't put them down yet because the the pen won't write on wet paper. Like that's yeah, I tried one 
I didn't get very far with my pattern, like t just touching squares. Uh, this I did this with the markers instead. That's cool. Anyways. But then again, I started to do patterns and I was like, oh, yeah, not feeling it. Yeah. So. I, I struggled with the pens a lot. Yeah, like, I, was I couldn't get the jelly roll, the white jelly roll pen to lay down an opaque white line. And I just found myself through all the white, like it was going really well. And then my pen would dry up and I'd have to scribble on a piece of paper to get it to work again, have maybe two minutes of doodling and then it would dry up again. And it was just kind of like, I'm, I don't know. I've never had very good luck with jelly roll pens. Um, so I tried then using my Uniball Signo white pen. That's like a 0.8 tip. It's a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And that was doing the same thing. And I think it was just the gel pen on top of the watercolor. The gel pen just did not like drawing on the watercolor. Although I had difficulties even just working on the black paper, which was now week, that'd be week four, oh. where we do the wave form that I didn't complete <laughs> because my pen, I, I had got I up, bought a new form. one because I thought my, the pen was all dried up. So I got another one and it still doesn't have good flow. Like, and I'm watching her in the video and hers is really nice. And I'm like, I don't understand if it's just the stock at my local store that's old mm. maybe. And it's not flowing. I wonder if it might be the, the, thickness because like I have in those white Sakura gel pens I think I had like a 0 0.05 a 0 0.08 and then like a, a 0 0.10 which is thickest and and that one actually like you can't did some pretty mm -hmm. dense lines the other ones wouldn't do I much of anything find, um, yeah I should order because she was said she was using an 05 and I was like it's too thin for me yeah so, I don't know it doesn't look, look like at all. her lines look thicker than um, yeah I think my I think my one my my one millimeter is out in the living room but no yeah I didn't use the 0.5 and the 0.8 at all I just couldn't get a good enough line with them mm -hmm. and I was really unhappy with the results I was getting um, even on black paper. And then I used the, so I did, I, I did that. something entirely different because I was, I'm just <laughs> very excited about the holidays. So I did, um, the white with the, with the one millimeter gel, gel pen. And I did have to go over some spots, but if I went really slow and barely touched the paper with the pen, yeah, so she does that say that. About that with like having a really light touch with the gel pen, I had a lot better luck with a light touch and going very, very slow, which for some things for me was really hard because sometimes I like to draw a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for the black stuff, I, I just did holiday cards with my metallic markers. Um, Meowie Christmas oh, and season's great. So cute. I, I, was, I was very holiday inspired that day mm -hmm. and I was just like, I just really want to do this. Plus it was a good reason to use my calligraphy again. Yeah. Brush lettering, <laughs> kind of. Um, they're bullet point markers so I was like it doesn't work quite the same but it's similar um but yeah I was, go okay, ahead go ahead no go ahead I, yeah I was just having a ton of problem with the gel pens I had to switch back and forth between three different black pens even to get those to work and I just was thinking are my markers drying out like what am I doing wrong so yeah. I don't know I I did order some new black pens because I think mine are just old how did you do that like snow on the eve of the roof there like did you paint oh. that on with nope that's the gel pen wow because that looks like it's really well it's, filled it's in really, it's really dark it's really opaque but yeah that was the going trying to get the good light trying going really really slow and having the really light touch when filling so it's almost like if you've ever done icing cookies like the, mm -hmm. the filling icing like yeah, where you like float yeah mm -hmm. it's kind of like that it's got the same feel as as flooding a nice cookie uh which was also a good image to have in my head while i'm drawing like candy swirls and it's perfect <laughs> sugar icing on my on my little cottage so mm -hmm. but yeah did not have that good of a result with the watercolor because i did exactly the same thing in that block and you can still see my lines mm-hmm and it's it's not it's not opaque and I can't get it opaque so I like the translucence of it but I yeah, yeah there I do yeah. I like it now at the time I was really frustrated with it yeah um but yeah looking at it now 
as a full thing. It's it's growing on me. And that's why that's the fun thing about the sketchbook. I think too, it's like you'll go back to it in a, another month or so from now and look at that with fresh eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, you know, that's why mm-hmm. I still love the idea. I want to keep working in this style, in this book, in the designs, just to kind of have my own personal little like picture book to go to and be like, I know, oh, I hope that I do. <laughs> I hope that I do. And that's, I know, I know from my planning habit, um, I'm more happy in a filled book than I am with what's actually on the pages. So like, it's always looking back. Mm-hmm. I have, a, I have a more positive um image of what is in the book when it's actually finished and when it's been finished for a while so that I actually picked up a new sketchbook and like a slightly lighter paper um over the holiday uh because we're filming just after Thanksgiving here in the states um picked it up on a sale um and it's just like a smaller book that I'm just gonna doodle in and just draw so Mm -hmm. in an effort to reignite my love of planning and actually writing and doodling and doing stuff every day because yeah. I got very out of the habit over yeah. the last six months. I found these um little I had these little colored they're blank. They were just all oh, those are colors. So, so then I was like, well maybe I'll try on that. The paint the white pen didn't cover very well on that one. I don't know if you can see but a little bit yeah. I mean they're kind of cute. I don't know. They're very tiny, but I wanted to yeah. try it. This one I just did like a totally oh, different that pattern. Cool. I'll That's probably cool. keep going with that one. But that I like. it was just trying to, you know, try it on a different um, Oh, yeah. I, did, yeah. I didn't even get to that. Yeah, she does have that um, in week four where you do, or it's class four, you do the journal. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, well, I have these. I'll try them. But now I don't know what I'll do with them. I don't yeah. know. That was, I think we got the black paper because we couldn't find those journals mm-hmm. that she suggested in the in the class so we just used black black paper or whatever we had on hand um because I did some doodling on cardstock as well and that was that was really nice but doing it on the different surfaces I think does make a huge difference and Mm -hmm. I was really surprised at how how different of a feel it had drawing on watercolor versus drawing on top of um watercolor paper versus cardstock so that's something that <clears throat> continues to surprise me as we do these creative bug classes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I also think this was a good one. I mean, we were all saying like, oh, it was a little bit more work than we thought, but I do think like you're saying, Heidi, the idea of having, um, going back into the same sketchbook, I do think this was a good one for maybe instilling the habit that we're all talking about, hoping to gain more. you're like just doing something daily. I mean, because I think she also shows you that you don't have to complete a whole spread in your sketchbook in a day. And that's, yeah. I don't know. So I hope I, I hope I'll continue with that. And it's always challenging when you're watching somebody who she says, you know, I draw every day and she's been doing this for years. And it's like, yeah, she's good about reminding I'm doing me it for two days. And I'm like, it's, you know, you're all frustrated and your lines are shaky. It's like, well, <laughs> right. I'm trying to move slow, but the slower I go, the worse it starts to look. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Like, why am I not an artist yet? Yeah, I know. Really, <laughs> why isn't it working? Why don't I have the thing? <laughs> yeah, I ask myself the same questions. <laughs> it's hard to have patience with learning a new skill, you know. Yeah, that is, and that's. I don't know. I keep reminding myself. I wanted. I want to learn this. I've wanted to learn art for years. This is my first opportunity. Why am I not enjoying this more? Why am I so frustrated? So like, but it is still fun that, that wonder of realizing I did this. This is something that I finished and having that kind of realization of like, nope, I did this. It looks like almost exactly the same as, you know, the teacher in the class or as Lisa's drawings. And I'm just like a little floored still that it actually is done. Mm-hmm. I think it's, maybe it's the pressure to present. <laughs> I think <yeah. laughs> like if you were just doing this class on your own at home, it might be a little bit yeah. <laughs> different, but it, it does, it does keep us honest. It keeps me going back and, and working on the class when I might have stepped away. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It does also help as using this as a little bit of a respite from daily work. So I do as much as I did panic early this week and realized that I hadn't finished week four, um and do it very quickly it was I, I'm always glad for the opportunity to be able to set aside my computer and actually work in a sketchbook and do 
do something that's not computer related, that's still for work. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to shut my book because I keep going down and looking at it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was, um, so I think yeah, I, I had a good experience with this one. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to, I did actually look into her, um, the boot camp one that she has on mm-hmm. creative bug. And I started watching that one. So I think I'm going to keep, keep doing Lisa's classes. Yeah. I really like her, um, her style. Yeah. I was really happy with that. But I think that's a good idea to kind of almost like stick with her to like learn the different things mm-hmm. as far as, instead of trying to like learn from another teacher with a different style. Yep. Right. There are, there are some other, there's a couple like draw one, one thing a day thir- a 30 day program. Um, and a couple different styles that people have, which is fun, but it's like, yeah, I kind of feel like I want to stick with this yeah. instructor. So, yeah. 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 That was, so that was our experience. I guess we'll move on and wrap up. Since wrap it up now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that was our experience with Lisa Congdon's sketchbook, sketchbook explorations class on creative bug. You can find a link in the description for that class. Um, I, please check out some other videos on AADL TV. We've got quite the big library of different content that all of the staff at Ann Arbor district libraries created. I will be back. I think we're going to take a break over the month of December and not do another creative challenge until January. Mm -hmm. Um, So we will see you back in 2021 uh, for another creative bug daily challenge. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to love each other. Bye y'all.